Hello and welcome back to Fallout 4 Modded with me, Private Potato Gaming. I'm finally back uploading. And today I've got a little bit of a side episode. So, there's one or two places that are kind of worth exploring. And there's also going to be a follow up to a quest from a very early episode. But for now, we're pulled up on the Wicked Shipping Yard. It's got a solid hitbox. Okay. Girls are smarter than If there's one ghoul, there's multiple. Folks say their brains are rotted away. But I've seen them set up ambushes around dead bodies. Any more? Nope. Ooh, toy car. Mm. I was genuinely expecting more. It took me so long to get around to this part of the map, this poor soul died. If I got a chance to shoot him. Anyway. So this is a freight logistics company. Not much in the way of loot. But there is something worth the trip out here, if I can remember where it was. Don't get up. Wicked business. I mean, what kind of business partner threatens to kill you if the deal doesn't go his way? We are in way over our heads, man. I can't see a way out of this. No way except shutting down and getting out of Dodge. Give me a chance to talk. I thought that was another ghoul. Face. I just want both of us to get out of this. And anything good? Anything good? Nope. Oh, this was a wonderful waste of time. There's literally nothing of value here except for... Except for... This key. This key's gonna open up a couple of things and there's also Grognak there the Barbarian. Go. Blood on the Harp. A murder mystery with a Barbarian sounds kinda interesting. I'll be surprised if they still never actually bother to make the magazines real. Okay, there was a truck that should take the key out front. And... <laughs> yeah, this was a waste of time. A legendary pipe pistol. And two halo guns. Moving along. And stumble across the Abernathy farm. So the reason I'm visiting here is because there's a conclusion to a quest that is very, very long overdue. Could you, like, just not? Thank you. Anybody home? I'm supposed to help people not steal their crap. Where the heck is everyone? Ah, yes, someone now. Lucy Abernathy. <coughs> Here for work? We could use some help picking melons if you've got some spare time. I'll give you caps for any you can bring me. Um, sure. Sure. I got time to help out. Great. Doesn't have to be now, but whenever you get the time. I'm wearing like tactical gear and she wants me to God. Look at all the blood. That's close enough, stranger. We're a peaceful farm. We don't want any trouble. 
I thought I saw something. I'm in the middle of something. Everything wants to flip and interrupt. Let me tell you, farming ain't easy. Out in the field all day, every day, and every minute of it spent watching your back. It's hard work, Army's yeah. Hard work. Huh? No choice. <clears throat> Let me tell you, farming ain't yeah, easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just get to the part where you. Give me the quest. Blake Abinet. Uh, I've been around. Good to see a new face. How about you? Ever think about working the land? Mm, too busy killing things. Maybe one day. I'm sure I'll give it a try someday. Well, good luck to you then. Maybe I'll see you at the Diamond City Mart. Word of advice, though: if you do start up a farm, be ready to deal with the raiders. Why do all the hard work when you can just take what you want at gunpoint? Yeah, but humanity's been doing that for the past how many thousands of years? Bastards. All of them. Yeah, but they're the best armed bastards in the Commonwealth. Last time those raiders hit us, my daughter Mary tried to stand up to them. Now she's buried out back of the house. Only 21 years old, and they shot her down without a thought. That's why we need the Minutemen back. And the sooner, the better. Okay, um... Not gonna say if your daughter was that stupid. There's nothing worse than losing a child. I know it. I don't have much to offer, but those raiders that killed Mary, they took her locket too. It's been in Connie's family for generations. If you could get it back, it'd mean a lot to us. Um, yeah, I found the locket already. This I is why I came... I some raiders earlier. I think I found the locket you're talking about. <sighs> That's great news. <laughs> I'm just trying to have a freaking conversation. If it's not... What was it? Bloat flies. Two blow flies and then a flippin' bot attack. I want to trade a few things. Sure. Okay, so I've completed that quest, and now they're effectively part of my settlements. So essentially, what the quest was, at one point or another, you would probably stumble across the Abernathy farm, and you would meet Blake. Yeah, Blake would send you on a quest to the sat satellite station. Which one was it? Satellite Station Olivia. Kill the raiders and get the locket that was behind that locked door. So, sometimes you can just skip it, go and kill the raiders, get some good gear, and then eventually when you feel like you need a couple of bucks, you can pay old Abernathy a visit. This trailer out is also kind of nice because it's a great little spot to take a break. And yeah, we got something special. Bingo. Board game, the Spy Hunters. Cool. Anyway, this is not exactly what I had on plan for today's episode. I'm gonna cut to that next. Okay, so part of another old quest that I've put on the back burner for far too long. So if you've seen one of my previous episodes where I went hunting for some very, very unique weapons. I believe I still have three of those weapons outstanding. They were legendary service rifles. Today we're going after one, I believe it's called the Love Maker. And lo and behold, we've got a checkpoint on the bridge, a pack of raiders. And I have a 50 caliber semi automatic rifle. Was that overkill for three pathetic raiders? Absolutely. Would I do it again? Absolutely. Let's see, this one had an FNX 45. 
Nice pistol. What you got for me? Ten more. And an M196. That is a future quest. Cambridge Polymer Labs. Okay. So, for today I'm running a different rifle. So this is one that I've probably used but never actually modified significantly. G36KV. It's a good looking rifle and this one just happens to have a really cool camera. Okay, so here we are at Sunshine Tidings. The item's somewhere, yeah? Let's have a look around. <laughs> I won't say no to blood samples. Water. And there we have it. Excellent. So the year is the Love Maker. Legendary service rifle does increase in amounts of damage the more draw effects you are suffering. But 46 damage is not bad for a base stat. I mean it's essentially an M16A1. I'll be semi-automatic. I mean, it's a flippin' excellent rifle. I have had the pleasure of trying the civilian version. With a 30 round stand -out, but this is a nice thing to shoot. Anyway... This is... Well, it's an abandoned settlement, and obviously we can turn it into a settlement for the Minutemen. That's not going to be very entertaining, so I'm going to can it right here and move on to the next item. Okay, so I'm on the trail of the All-American Rifle. For those of you who play Fallout New Vegas, you'll be familiar with this amazing piece of armament. Movement detected. No more movement. From you, buddy. Um, perfect. The Reaper. So we just encountered a synth with a MTS-255, which is decorated to look like a laser rifle. I mean, you didn't have to, but a for effort. And there's our prize. Perfect. One genuine, really, really good service rifle. So this is essentially the updated All-American. It is a weapon that... a legendary... It wasn't legendary, it was a unique weapon from Fallout New Vegas that's been brought into Fallout 4. Bingo. Oh, and there's another prize for me as well. Desert Warrior MP7. Yeah, I'm not going to use that. I haven't got the bullets for it. LR72. Future reference for those of you trying to survive any sort of apocalypse. Don't do what I just did. But out of curiosity, I'm going to go and see what I just did. Ooh. A lot of firepower at this place. I mean, he has an AK chambered in presumably 10 mil. Let's actually have a quick look at the side. Bone death pool. Yeah, so a rifle like this is going to be a little overpowered with some of the perks I'm running. Also, this is friggin' weird to me. Why is there a laser sight on the ACOG? 
The laser sight, I'm pretty sure, needs to be closer to the barrel. Nuclear material. Anyway, there's one more piece of Americana out here that I need to locate. Let's stand away from that. So I'm gonna go and hunt that down very quickly. Let me cut to Okay, there's a fun little location out in the glowing sea that is there in vanilla. And suffice to say, we're gonna go and have a look because in addition to our rifle, there's also going to be a set of power armor. This is one of the few places you can get it. There's a key. Yeah, he didn't make it in time. It's impressive that the shack survived. I mean, if you look around, everything else is trash. Okay, installation K21 Bravo, employee personal lock. This is government employee number 011, <laughs> screw this government bullshit. This is Bezensky. Siren. Well, hello there. So, the alarm. this pretty little piece the is the legendary the survivalist the rifle. The also, there's a revolver, but we came here for the survivalist rifle. He's gone. We had to close the door before you could even turn around. Now, what is the survivalist rifle? If you're people. familiar with it, it was a special caliber rifle introduced with the Honest Hearts DLC. That was days ago. It was a essentially a service this rifle not as well chambered in 50 cal. No, it wouldn't be chambered in 50 if BMG because this, 50 BMG is, is way, too, way too big to go through Tell the flared magwell of an AR. Wilma, this would be I chambered in 50 Beowulf, but in Fallout New Vegas it was chambered in 12.7, which could also refer to 50 Beowulf. Now... There's control, somebody call for rats. No. Not because she yeah. is hiding this place under that crappy cabin. Since. I don't have to shoot him, but I've got a 50 caliber rifle to test. Of course, I don't want to use too much of this because 50 BG is flipping expensive. Ow. Down with you, plastic man. Ooh, 458. Um, there's a legendary thing I need to do a future episode on, which saved me a lot of time and trouble. So I'm just going to cut to the prize. Okay, so at the bottom of the installation, there's a... Well, in Vanilla Fallout, there is always going to be a set of XO1 power armor, but because I've got some mods, we've got an almost complete set of T65 power armor. T65 is not too shabby a power armor. Me, personally, I prefer the XO1, primarily because, well, the XO1 is like legendary. Because it's rare. And these 
service rifles don't work with power armor, but that's alright, I don't make enough use of power armor. Um, let's try my G36. There we go. There's also a dungeon chest. So, if I recall, this was a place where they were doing some tests, they had their own set of power armor. For some reason, the Institute is here looking for stuff. I'll take his X12. There is some very good loot, and depending on when you're visiting, if you've got the right perks, there's caps and ammunition are plenty. There's also. There we go. <laughs> I didn't know this was here. There is also a laser version of the Tech 9 sup integrally suppressed pistol. I'm gonna try this sucker out. Laser Maxim. Well, it's cool that it's a laser pistol that looks this good, but that kind of ruins the original purpose of the Maxim 9. Can I crack these two open? Ugh, never mind. Anyway, I'm gonna leave this episode right here. So today was more or less about just grabbing some new firepower. A lot of new firepower, so that's gonna be two service rifles. Love Maker, All American, sorry, three rifles and survivalist rifle. There's one final rifle left in the quest line, Accelerator, but that's going to be a bit more work. So that will be done in the next episode. So for today, I'm leaving it here. I want to thank you so much for watching, and I do hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope to see you in the next one.